Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a trip back in time to 2004 and talk about the numerology of Ken Jennings' Jeopardy winning streak, how it's connected to the Eclipse crucifixion code, and the Boston Red Sox World Series victory where they snapped an 88-year World Series drought. Last week on this channel, I made a, de a video on the death of Jeopardy con contestant Braden Smith. This was a five-time Jeopardy champion whose episodes aired in the period after Trebek died, but while Trebek was still hosting the show. In that video, I explained how Braden's death was connected to the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. Now, despite years of research, videos, and blog posts explaining the relevance of this code, there still seems to be some doubt about it. So in order to prove this, once again, I'm going to double down and show how this same code was used in the most famous Jeopardy numeric ritual of all time, which was Ken Jennings' win streak. To recap last week's video, Braden Smith's first appearance on Jeopardy was December 15th, the day after the 2020 total solar eclipse. He would later die one month and 22 days after this eclipse and his first appearance on the show. 122 is a number associated with Jeopardy, which equals 122 in reverse. Alex Trebek's first episode of Jeopardy aired on a date with primary numerology of 122. This is also the ordinal value of Ken Jennings, who we will be decoding in this video. A very interesting thing about the 2020 total solar eclipse is that the point of greatest eclipse was directly over the center of Argentina. And notice how the flag of Argentina has not just a sun, but a sun with a face on it. Perhaps the most detail of any flag right up there with Uruguay's. Furthermore, Argentina is the home to Pope Francis, the first of all Catholic popes to have been a Jesuit priest prior to becoming the Pope. The Jesuit order has gematria of 69 in reduction, which syncs up with the ordinal value of the word eclipse. The Jesuit order's emblem, which is obviously a sun, contains the sun's corona. So one could possibly argue that this emblem is not just a sun, but also an eclipse, as the corona of the sun, or its atmosphere, is only visible during a total solar eclipse. In the alphabetic order, the name Braden and Smith both sum to 69. Braden Smith equals 69 in reverse reduction. And I made that video before I found out his birthday was the 6th of September, or 6-9. His birthday can also be written 9696. Well, that happens to be the ordinal value of eclipse code. Now, that appears to be an arbitrary phrase, but also consider how eclipse code has matching 201 reverse gematria with both the Jesuit order and eclipse ritual. Braden's death fell a span of 303 days before the next total solar eclipse, which occurs in December of, late of this year. The word eclipse equals 33, and with the S exception, the names Braden and Smith both equal 33. But the 303 is the real number of focus here. Using the reverse alphabetic order, the winningest Jeopardy player of all time Kenneth Wayne Jennings has gematria of 303. This is the ordinal value of the phrase crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Now in numerology, 303 represents the number 33. The Catholic Church teaches that Jesus was crucified at the age of 33 on April 3rd of 33 AD, which was the date of a lunar eclipse. The words lunar and eclipse both equal 33 in reduction. In fact, three of the four Gospels mention darkness falling over the sky during the crucifixion, which should not have been possible 
considering that it happened on Passover during the daytime. On Wikipedia, Ken Jennings' image is still from the year 2007. And it stands to reason that's because that's the year that he turned 33 years old. When Ken Jennings was born, Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek was 33 years old. Jennings' winning streak began in Trebek's 3,333rd week since birth. When his streak ended, it was 33 weeks and 3 days before Trebek's birthday. Using the standard reduction or Pythagorean cipher, the name Kenneth Wayne Jennings equals 93. This is another number associated with the eclipse code. The word crucifix, Nazareth, and God's sun equal 93, so does the black sun, Saturn. The crucifixion, of course, was the death of the Son of God. The Earth's sun is said to be an average of 93 million miles from Earth. The number 93 is associated with Christianity, which sums to 930 in the Sumerian cipher. The story of Jesus begins in the 930th chapter of the Bible, where the first man lived to be 930 years old. We're then taught that the crucifixion occurred on the 93rd day of the year, between the hours of 9 and 3 p.m. In Jewish or Latin gematria, the phrase crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 2040. Now this is a number connected to Alex Trebek, who was born on the 204th day of a leap year. His birth date of 22-7, the 22nd of July, lines up with the ordinal gematria of Eclipse Crucifixion Code and the reverse value of Jesus' crucifixion. In ancient Hebrew gematria, the phrase for total eclipse even sums to 227. Alex Trebek's full name, George Alexandra Trebek, has matching 202 ordinal gematria with the phrase total solar eclipse, and recall he died in the year 2020. Not only was Trebek born on the 204th day of the year, but using capital letters, the name Alex Trebek equals 204. When Trebek passed away last year, Ken Jennings was 2,424 weeks old. The digits in 2040 can be rearranged to 2004, which is the year in which Ken Jennings' streak occurred. Jennings was born in the city of Edmonds, Washington, which sums to 204 in ordinal. In a little bit, we'll talk about the career of Jim Edmonds, the baseball player, which lasted 204 months. Ken Jennings, again, born in the city of Edmonds. Well, something else very significant happened in 2004. The Boston Red Sox, one of the most storied franchises in baseball, broke an 88-year drought to win the World Series. So the same year that Ken Jennings had an epic winning streak, the Red Sox broke their losing streak. Both Boston and Red Sox has matching 77 and 85 gematria with the name Christ. Ken Jennings III in reduction also sums to 77 and 85. Let's look back at this number 33, as in crucifixion of Jesus Christ, which occurred at the age of 33. It's important to understand the connections between 11, 33, and 1331. The number 33 is 11 plus 11 plus 11. This is the reduction value of Jesus. If you instead multiply 11 times 11 times 11, you get the number 1331, which is 33 surrounded by 11s. This fact of numerology is extremely significant in gematria. In Jewish, Jesus the Messiah sums to 1331. 
Jennings' winning streak ended on November 30th, which is the only date on the calendar that sums to 1331 in that cipher. 1331 is also 11 to the third power, like 113. Jennings' streak ending on November 30th, or 11 slash 30. Now the name Ken equals 30 in ordinal, his streak ended on the 30th. Well, the 30th prime number is 113, like the date that he lost. The woman who defeated him was Nancy Zerg, whose name sums to 113 in ordinal. And we'll look more at her name towards the end of the video. Back to the 1331 code. Notice how the phrase 1331 eclipse equals 1331. And the only total solar eclipse in that year occurred on the date November 30th. There's a verse in the book of Revelation that mentions both a solar and lunar eclipse. This verse has ordinal gematria of 1331. Even the four numbers in the word eclipse when turned upside down have gematria of 1331. And now we're going to talk about how this ritual connects us to both the Jeopardy winning streak, which equals 1331, aligned with the World Series victory of the Boston Red Sox, which equals 1331 in English gematria. This means Ken Jennings' streak ended on the 673rd anniversary of this significant eclipse. Remember, this eclipse here in 1331 occurred the same year that the Black Death Plague is said to have broke out in China. The number 673 has matching gematria with 1331 eclipse. But what's more significant is that 673 is the 122nd prime number, again connecting us to Ken Jennings in ordinal and Jeopardy in reverse. Again, Trebek's first Jeopardy episode on a date with 122 numerology. Next, we're going to talk about the number 74. First, we talked about Jesus the Messiah, how this sums to 1331 in Jewish. Well, in the English cipher, Jesus the Messiah sums to 181. Ken Jennings' winning streak ended exactly 181 days after it began. During this period, the streak lasted 74 games. Streak sums to 74 in ordinal. Winning streak equals 74 with the S exception. And in Jewish gematria, total solar eclipse equals 704. Ken Jennings was born in the year 74. Consider how simple English gematria in occult language equals 74. In that same ordinal method, Jesus, killing, cross, Messiah, gospel, and parables all sums to 74. When Ken Jennings' streak ended, the final Jeopardy clue had only two numbers in it, 7 and 4. In the alphabetic order, Kenneth Wayne Jennings equals 237. If you multiply 2 times 37, you get a product of 74. The 74th prime number is 373. Ken Jennings' losing or winning streak ended exactly 373 days after the nearest total solar eclipse. This brings us to the Boston Red Sox, who again won the World Series that same year. Notice how Boston Red Sox has matching gematria with the number 74. Their World Series victory was completed exactly 74 weeks before the next total solar eclipse. In the World Series, they defeated St. Louis, who had a player named Jim Edmonds. In 2004, Jim Edmonds won the Silver Slugger Award with St. Louis. He was a pretty popular player. Well, notice how not only does St. Louis equal 74 in reverse, 
but the name Edmonds equals 74. And again, Ken Jennings, born in the city of Edmonds, Washington. Notice how the name James Patrick Edmonds also sums to 74 and 115 in reduction. The Boston Red Sox World Series victory also fell a span of 11 months and 5 days after the last total solar eclipse. St. Louis, Edmonds, and James Patrick Edmonds all equals 115 in the reverse method. 115 is a number associated with killing, summing to 74 and 115 in multiple ciphers. On the date the Red Sox won the World Series, Ken Jennings was 11,115 days old. Then when his streak ended the following month, he was 11,150 days old. When Ken Jennings' streak ended, he answered incorrectly with the response, FedEx. But look at how much money he wagered on that clue. $5,601. This represents the number 561. Well, 561 is 33 squared. 33 is a number connected to the eclipse code. Not only does eclipse equal 33, but the ordinal value of 33 is the same as eclipse the sun. In Hebrew, the word for eclipse equals 156. This is because an eclipse always occurs one, five, or six lunar phases after the last one. Ken Jennings' streak ended 156 days after Jim Edmonds' birthday. Jim Edmonds' marriage, which is connected to the coronavirus ritual, as we will talk about later in this video, was called off a span of 156 days after Ken Jennings' birthday. Edmonds' full name is James Patrick Edmonds. The names James and Patrick both sum to 33. Remember, Kenneth Wayne Jennings equals 303. Alex Trebek had the number 33 in his age during Edmonds' and Jennings' births. And then he died at 29,330 days old. Jim Edmonds was born three years and 330 days before Ken Jennings. His baseball career, which ended on a date with a life lesson number of 33, ended exactly 303 weeks after Jennings' streak ended. Edmonds filed for divorce a span of 330 days after the anniversary of the end of Jennings' streak. And last year, Alex Trebek died exactly 33 weeks before Jim Edmonds' birthday. Let's take a look at Ken Jennings' first appearance on Jeopardy! the day that the streak began, June 2nd, 2004. The first thing that stuck out to me is that the other challenger on the day that he first appeared had the name Julia Lazarus. And of course, this is a biblical name. Remember how Jesus Christ rose Lazarus from the dead. The name Julia Lazarus has matching 151 and 43 gematria with the name Jesus Christ. The date June 2nd leaves 100 and, I'm sorry, this is the 154th day of the year, which is the reverse value of Boston Red Sox. This game was 147 days before the Red Sox won the World Series. In ordinal, World Series equals 147. Notice how this World Series ending date was 1027. On the same date as Ken Jennings' first appearance, the Boston Red Sox played in a game against the Anaheim Angels, who was Jim Edmonds' first team. Notice how there's 10 for both teams. The Red Sox had 10 hits. The Angels had 10 runs. The Angels also had 17 hits. So you can add 10 and 17 either this way or up and down. This game was the Boston Red Sox 53rd game of the season and they lost it by a score of 7 to 10. Boston Red Sox equals 53, 
Anaheim Angels equals 71. The name Kenneth equals 31. He was born on a date with reduced numerology of 31, and on the date that his streak began, he was 30 years and 10 days old. The team Red Sox sums to 31 in reduction. The Red Sox won the World Series on the date this would be the 301st day of a leap year. Ken Jennings' streak ended on the date that leaves 31 days on the calendar. <laughs> on the date that Ken Jennings' streak began, the 31-win Red Sox played the 31-win Angels, again, Edmonds' first team. The losing pitcher for the Red Sox was Mike Timlin, who was born on March 10th, like 3-1 and he entered the game with a 3-1 record. The winning pitcher in this game was Ramon Ortiz, who was born on May 23rd, the same birthday as Ken Jennings. Losing pitcher Mike Timlin dropped his record to 3-2 on the game. The Angels won their 32nd game against the Red Sox on a date with 32 numerology. Angels equals 32. Red Sox is 32. Kenneth sums to 32. So does the name Christ. Jennings' first appearance on Jeopardy was 192 days after the last total solar eclipse. The word eclipse equals 192 in Jewish gematria. The name Kenneth Wayne Jennings III sums to 1902 in English Extended. When his streak ended, it was a span of 192 days after his birthday. Now let's look a little more at the numerology of Jim Edmonds and show how he is forever linked to the numerology of Jeopardy. First, notice how James Patrick Edmonds sums to 1212 in Jewish and 1200 in Sumerian. 1212 is the value of George Alexander Trebek and total solar eclipse. The show Jeopardy sums to 1200 in Jewish gematria. Jim Edmonds was born on a date with primary numerology of 122. Remember, this is the number connecting Ken Jennings to Jeopardy, whose first episode with Trebek aired on a date with 122 numerology. Jim Edmonds filed for divorce a span of 122 days after his birthday. At least that's when the story hit the news. More on that later. His only World Series championship was also 122 days after his birthday. Now, using the alphabetic order, Jeopardy equals 94, and... 1994 was Jim Edmonds' rookie season. Another number associated with Jeopardy is 40, which is the reduction value of Jeopardy. Alex Trebek, whose name also sums to 40, was born in the year 40. Jim Edmonds made his Major League debut on a date with 40 numerology. His last game in the majors also had 40 numerology. Notice how his debut also had numerology of 13. Well, the 13th prime number is 41. That's the reverse reduction value of Jeopardy. And the debut of Jeopardy with Trebek aired on a date with 41 numerology. Jim Edmonds' career ended exactly 4,100 days after the end of Ken Jennings' Jeopardy streak. Now we're going to take a look at the fun part of the riddle. Ken Jennings' 75th game was a loss to challenger Nancy Zerg. Miss Zerg wore a very standout shade of red for this episode. Now if you're an old gamer like me, you may be familiar with a game called StarCraft, where one of the three alien races is named Zerg. And of course, they're a shade of red, similar to how Nancy wore red on this date. Now, why on earth would a video game be attributed in this riddle? 
Well, first of all, understand that StarCraft was essentially the catalyst for esports. Uh, before this game was released, esports was really not heard of outside of maybe South Korea. Um, but this game really brought it to the forefront. And when you look at the numerology of StarCraft, this all makes a lot of sense. The original StarCraft was re released on the 31st of March, or 31-3. That date falls a span of 313 days after Ken Jennings' birthday. Last year, Alex Trebek died on the 313th day of a leap year. In reverse, James Patrick Edmonds has gematria of 313. Now, 313 is the 65th prime number. Ken's winning streak ended against Nancy Zerg on a date with 65 primary numerology. The phrase winning streak equals 65. So does the word StarCraft. StarCraft's release date can also be written 3-31 as it is here in the United States. There are a span of 331 days between the birthdays of Jim Edmonds and Ken Jennings. Jim Edmonds has matching 106 and 43 gematria with StarCraft. In reduction, StarCraft is 34. Jim Edmonds was 34 years old when this episode with Nancy Zerg aired. And in reverse, StarCraft sums to the 33rd prime number. Think about the day before StarCraft's release being 3 slash 30. On that date, Jim Edmonds was 333 months and 3 days old. Measuring from the release of StarCraft to the date of this episode was exactly 348 weeks. This episode also aired 348 days after the anniversary of StarCraft's expansion set called Brood War. The number 348 has connected Gematria to both the release date of StarCraft, 331, also the 56th prime number, and the name Zerg equals 56 in ordinal. So that's it for the slides on this. Now what I wanted to share with you in the rest of this video is how back in the year 2019, I made a post in my Organics Matrix section of this blog. Now, of course, who really knows what's organic? And now that I understand uh, the Jim Edmonds riddle, there seems to be less of a chance. But the fact that I stumbled into this synchronicity from October of 2019 is kind of a... It happened by chance. Like, I shouldn't have run into this, but let me explain how. And then we'll also explain how this news story, this synchronicity in the news was connected to the Jennings win streak. So back on October 26th of 2019, I was browsing the news, and I saw a story about Jim Edmonds and how he was divorcing from his wife. Now, I did not click on this story because why would I care about a celebrity and his marriage? However, I did click on this news story, and the reason is obvious. I wanted to watch a video of a truck running into a gas station. Nobody got hurt here, so it's pretty funny to watch. But what stuck out to me is that the driver in this truck was named William Edmonds. And I thought that's strange because Edmonds, it's not necessarily an exotic last name, but it's not very common either. And the fact that this story was in the news at the same time as Jim Edmonds was enough for me to do a double take. But then check this out. The name William Edmonds equals 1212. In the same cipher, the full name, James Patrick Edmonds equals 1212. This guy was even said to be 24 years old, which is, of course, 12 plus 12. In this news story, it said William Edmonds wanted to spin his wheels around 180 degrees, right, to do a donut. Well, look at how old Jim Edmonds was on that date. 18,018 days old. Crucifixion of Jesus Christ, which has that 303 value in ordinal, also sums to 1818 in Sumerian. Another very interesting thing I noticed about this story, which connects it to the Ken Jennings riddle, 
is how the news was published on a date with 74 numerology. Remember, this is the value of Edmonds and James Patrick Edmonds, 74. And this story was exactly 115 days after the last total solar eclipse. Edmonds, 115. James Patrick Edmonds, 115. In fact, his wife's name was King, right? King and Edmonds, 115. This woman that he was divorcing from, the name King, think about how a king wears a crown, and a crown is connected to the corona. Jim Edmonds, one of these Masonic athletes, who was in the news for being diagnosed with coronavirus. And think about how many people saw this story and thought, wow, a tough, healthy athlete like Jim Edmonds is getting sick. I better be scared. But of course, this is another actor participating in the PSYOP. So I thought, you know, back then, obviously, I didn't know about the connection with Jim Edmonds and Ken Jennings. So I thought to myself, what was Ken Jennings' age on the date of this synchronicity? Is it possible he was connected? And of course, the answer blew me away. So again, this news story was from October 25th of 2019. Measuring from Ken Jennings' birthday to the date of this story, we find he turned 2,370 weeks old the day before, which was actually the date that Edmonds filed for divorce. 237, do you remember this number from the slides? The name Kenneth Wayne Jennings equals 237 in the alphabetic order. Remember, 2 times 37 is 74. Edmonds equals 74. This story on a date with numerology of 74. So... Who can possibly see this and deny that the eclipse code is relevant? It's just strange that some people talk about numerology all the time, but ignore the fact that there is astrology being practiced. It's very strange. It's wrong. But thankfully, I'm here to share this part of the riddle with you and try to make a little more sense of what's going on in the media. All right, guys, that'll do it for this one. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace, love, God bless. And until next time, see ya.